Hey guys, this video is on emotions and organs and today we're going to be talking about the liver. <laughs> the liver is one of the, I mean, of all the important organs that we have and that we need, otherwise we can't survive. The liver plays a really predominant, important role. And the liver encompasses so many different things that it does and takes care of in the body that it's 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 a specialty in and of itself and um, so i'm not gonna as with the other videos dive too deep into the medical side of things in these videos number one because it's researchable number two obviously because i'm careful what i put out there but um, let's dive into the emotional aspect but for that we'll need to cover what the liver takes care of and as healers, we need to understand basic functionalities. So not everything we've got to rely on channelings for. Sometimes we just need to learn the basics and we should know them, right? So the liver takes care of detox in your body. It takes care of creating bile, which helps you digest your food. And it helps to, um, bile helps to break down fats, larger fats into smaller fats. It helps to, um, the liver creates cholesterol and cl everybody talks about cholesterol and how we've got to sink it and we think cholesterol is fat and so on and so forth. But um, cholesterol is really necessary in your body because one of the first things when you have a cut that, that the body produces and rushes to that area to help create the scar tissue is cholesterol. Cholesterol is also one of the basic building blocks of hormones, which obviously regulate a lot in your body. And so for that, the liver is regulatory. In traditional Chinese medicine, it's said that the liver belongs to the wood element and the wind element, and it houses the ministerial fire of the blood. They believe that the liver um, directs the flow of qi or a life force energy throughout the body. So one of the ways that you can support your liver and support it in allowing qi to flow through your body and take some stress off of it is mornings when you wake up, of course, that fresh, hot glass of water or cup of water with lemon or ginger, right, to help the detox process and um, get your, your system going. But you can also take a paddle brush, ladies. <laughs> You can take a paddle brush and you can either use a soft paddle brush, please. And you can use the soft bristle side or you can use the hard paddle, the wood side. And if you're using the soft bristle side, just brush upwards from your ankles to the inner in, inside of your thighs. Or you can use the paddle to slap your skin gently, right, upwards from your ankles up into your inner thighs and just do that for about five minutes and this will get your chi your ki going and it'll help and support your liver in the regulation and the transportation of chi throughout the body okay the liver is also connected to the emotion of anger and anger is one of those emotions that has received a really bad rap but is instrumental in changes that we create and make for ourselves but also on a larger scale if you look at societal changes most of them have come out of situations that have caused anger or created anger now anger is one of the most important emotions that we can have and we have to learn how to deal with it anger is associated with fire and fire burns but just as fire can burn down my house it can also cook my food i have to know how to deal with it in order to handle it and you have to know how to deal with your anger in order to handle it and one of the ways of dealing with anger is not to shut it down and shut it off but to acknowledge it to recognize it and to see where has a boundary been overstepped where ha did i perceive a boundary overstep because oftentimes we get angry when we feel that we have boundary overstep now another aspect of anger is cleansing right we want to cleanse ourselves of a certain energy that we experience as being toxic or negative in our world similar to the liver which is a detox organ but we also want to transform similar to the liver which produces bile which transforms that food into something we can digest so 
we uh, anger transforms so it transforms experiences thoughts um emotions what have you into something digestible into something that we can use moving forward for example right i get angry because i'm standing on a street corner waiting for a bus it's raining the water is piling in the street and another bus or a car drives by and um, just splashes that water onto me right so i get really angry number one there's been a boundary overstep an invasion of my space in a negative way there's been a disrespect or a disregard for my existence and for me standing there <laughs> and um there's something's gotta change anger right so now i can use this anchor deconstructively and i can take it and i can run down the street and run after that driver catch him at the next red light and go road rage on him or i can say to myself okay what can be changed in this situation what do i need to change here and i can recognize that i just need to step back from the curb i don't need to stand that close to the street to see the bus coming or i don't need to stand in the curb at all because there was a bus shack maybe 10 feet 10 you know whatever away and i could walk and wait there right and there's no water around so the change occurs my behavior is transformed and that is what anger is predominantly for is behavior modification and transformation especially of entrenched um, deep-seated ways of being but it's also there to enforce values enforce priorities as well so anger has its uses but how we express that anger and what we do that with that anger makes the difference between cooking food and being nourishing and nurturing and burning down the house right so it's, it's your choice each experience will teach you something however um, excessive continued unresolved states of anger can be very unhealthy for your liver which is that organ which assists and aids in anger management this has been proven as well more or less through studies that have been conducted with people that have gone through liver cleanses and more times than not people released or found themselves moving through states of anger they found themselves this anger rising up in them and just overflowing and this may be long old anger old aggression as well that they felt all of a sudden coming up this anger that they've been they thought they'd work through but they kept it in for years and then boom here we go um the liver is is pretty they say right they say that the liver is regeneration happy so the liver can regenerate in a sense right it can heal itself so even if you do have some form of illness it's not like brain cells where once it's dead they're dead the liver can regenerate and can recoup but yeah comma dot 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 <laughs> so you still want to treat your liver well so now and then a liver flush or a liver cleanse is really good not only on a physical level and i've posted a write-up I've posted a, um, a freebie for you that you can download where there are old recipes, old European recipes regarding the liver that you can work with and that you can use, old herbal recipes that you can use that work wonderfully for those of you that are into it, and um, essential oils, of course, and so on and so forth. So um, you want to do a liver cleanse now and then physically but not too often you don't want to overdo it either but especially you want to do an emotional anger cleanse especially those of you that say i never get angry i'm always peaceful the rest of us know you guys can sometimes be the most toxic i love you <laughs> but sometimes we've got to acknowledge when we're angry we've got to acknowledge that this affected us in a certain way and not acknowledging is what's throwing us back spiritually if we acknowledge our anger this doesn't throw us back spiritually it's the lie we tell ourselves right that we're not angry that we feel sad or things like that but sometimes we have to acknowledge that anger and then let it out right you can bang into a 
pillow, you can um, go for a run, you can punch walls if you your hands can handle it. You can do things like that to release this excessive state of, of, of energy. But also really important to acknowledge what are you angry about, right? Allow your system to express itself and acknowledge it. Acknowledge this boundary overstep. Acknowledge this this feeling of disrespect, disregard, or um, de deceit, or what have you, right? Whatever caused that anger, acknowledge it. And don't just dismiss it because you've intellectually decided, I'm above this. Really allow your emotions to flow. Allow those those, those um, transformations in your thinking and your perceiving to happen because remember emotions are there to transform okay so allow it to flow but just don't direct it to someone okay or something like a dog or anything like that um, direct it towards transformation use it to propel you of course this is always easier said than done but in all my videos in some of my videos, sorry, I mentioned that anger is one of my things, right? And so anger is, is something I've learned to deal with over time. I've learned to deal with it to not make me excessively compliant, which I used to do in order to avoid these anger states, but also not lose my head so much that I can't think straight anymore, which can happen. So um, typical signs of, of liver stress excuse me our dry skin dry skin um but also liver is connected to the eyes so if you have any jaundice right that yellowing around the eyes you may want to check out your your liver um but it's also connected to your eyesight right so that's also something that you can support and help through supporting and helping your liver it's connected to sour tastes or bitter tastes in food or bitter tastes in your mouth. So if you have that coming up a lot or you feel like a lot of bile is coming up all the time, you really want to check your liver, right? And do something nice for your liver. So another thing is that on the Chinese clock, which I talked about in a previous video, there are certain times during the day and night that the organs are active or inactive and so the liver has a certain time as well so if you keep waking up at night and um, it's always this around this time there may be something about your liver that you want to check into that message that you want to listen to you want to dive into where am i storing feelings of hostility aggression or anger um, who do I feel hostile towards? What situation is making me feel hostile? You want to get into all of that, okay? And work this out in order to help support your liver move through. Because remember, the organs aren't meant, and this is why your body gets sick, is when things go out of balance. They're not meant to take on the work for you. You're supposed to do the work. They're meant to support you. So support them, your organs, by doing the work, right? which means um, going in and transforming and recognizing and acknowledging and becoming aware, becoming conscious of yourself and your own processes and the processes of your mind, okay? And emotions and feelings. So let me just, um, what you can do are small meditations as well. So during the day, especially if you know if you have liver or gallbladder problems, some of you ha may have your gallbladder removed. Um, again, this will, you, you really want to make sure that you're working through your anger issues. You really want to make sure that you're tackling that, right? And it may scare you, the, the, the intensity of emotion that is raised when you're dealing with these states of, of feeling but understand that this is what you're putting into your organ right so it's best to live it out you're not gonna die but if your organ fails then that's something that cannot you know you can't go back on that so you can put your hands over your liver right now and the liver is also connected to what, guys? Your solar plexus chakra, which is also a fire chakra, right? And the solar plexus has to do with what? It has to do with our connection to the world, our self-confidence, and how we feel about stepping up 
and saying our message, stating our truth. And that connects it well with the throat chakra. So you always want to state your truth. You always want to be in alignment with your truth. So breathe in and out and just imagine now, just imagine you have a sponge and the sponge is washing all your organs. So it's washing your lungs, it's washed your heart, but we wanna have special focus today on the liver. And as you have the sponge with cool, clean water, or warm, clean water as you choose, just imagine that sponge washing through your liver and over it. Just imagine that white light energy just flowing through your liver and removing all stuck and pure energies. Ooh, you can feel that heat rise and some of you all of a sudden you're going to feel like a release of energy. This energy flows through your body. Continue washing your liver. And some of you, you're feeling the emotional release. And it may induce states of fear. Just keep breathing deeply. And imagine that sponge, which is always clean and brings only cleansing as it washes your liver. Oh, doesn't that feel good as it washes your liver? Inside and out, it makes everything sparkly clean. All your cells, every part of your liver is being washed. And all the energy that is no longer needed is released down into the ground. You can do that for each organ, but we just did it for the liver. So you want to do that every day and learn to touch base with your organs. Learn to touch base with um, the feelings that you have stored in each organ the stories that are attached to those feelings because this is something unresolved that you still need to find closure to or find the love in this experience. Find the love in what had happened, okay? I'm wishing you guys all the best. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon with further emotions and organs. Bye!